Welcome to Tiny Hands Big Dreams. Today we've got uh, a bit of coffee. So living out the edge of the Amazon, um, you can't be without your creature comforts. You have to have your coffee. Unfortunately, here we have our coffee in a parchment state. So this is this is how we can get it. When they pick the coffee cherries, um, pulpers are, exist around here where they can grind the, the fruit part away. They do a light ferment, um, and then they dry it in parchment. This is what's called parchment, and it's uh, it's these little little paper husks that surround the coffee. Now, interestingly, uh, while the machines exist that people can get the fruit off, and there's a bunch of those around, nobody has the machine to get the parchment off. So I got this coffee from a, a local guy up the mountain. I got a whole bunch of here. And I, I asked him about it. I'm like, what do you do? And he goes, oh, he, he sends it off three hours away to the next big, biggest city um, to a place that has a milling machine. I'm like, well, I would like to drink the coffee. We're big about coffee. We'll get into that at some point. We may actually start selling it as a, a super um, special thing. Some of the best coffee in the world comes from Ecuador. However, you have to work for it a bit. There's a ton of, of steps of classification. There's... There's a lot of, of, of sorting of care of things, um, but the climate and the soil is terrific. So we came up with a method of getting it apart, and it uses, strangely enough, the weed whacker. But it does a good job, and it mills it down, and it doesn't damage the beans if you do it right. It's, of course, slower than a commercial machine, but that's what that is. Instead of doing it with the weed whacker, in a tub. We have the tub, we have the weed whacker, we repurpose them. We try to do a lot with, with what we have and repurposing things. Um, so we're going to show you this process. Um, I take the weed whacker, I set it in the tub. Eli takes the coffee with parchment, pours it into um, a little piece of tubing. The tubing drops it into the spinning nylon strings. If I do it the right speed, it knocks the parchment off. Um, and, and the, the coffee drops out. If I go too fast, it will shatter the coffee sometimes. So speed control is up to, to the user. This is not an official commercial machine, but again, everything we had laying around has cost us nothing. We're able to enjoy uh, world-class coffee. So let's get started. Okay, so it usually takes us a couple of passes. So we'll try to get a, a close up here. Let it focus. So you can see with that, 
we got most of it off. Um, there's a few that remain. We could run it through again, um, or we could just call it good and manually sort those out and put them in with the next batch, which is probably what we'll do. We've probably exceeded 90%. So, not bad, not bad. Now the next process um, is winnowing which once we get this process to this stage, we then uh, winnow it, we run it in front of a fan and we blow the chaff away. The coffee is dense, the coffee falls, the chaff blows away um, and we separate it down to just coffee. So let's, let's show you that too. All right, let me explain my, my ramshackle setup. So here we've got an inline fan we also use this for the, the smoker and case another project. So it sells a funnel. There's a short piece of tube. The tube will drop the coffee in front of the airstream. Coffee ends up in the basket. The chaff ends up in the tub. My makeshift ramshackle work umbrella that I made out of some plastic and stick just to keep the sun off me is there just to help keep us a little neater and get some of the chaff in the tub. All right, here we go. So here, here's your green beans. Now this is what you're after. This is still as yet unclassified, unsorted. Um, this is just the raw output of removing the parchment. But you can see clearly the difference. 